Hello, my name is Ronald Griffin. Today I'm going to be taking you through the steps of applying Real Smart Motion Blur to your clips. And if you don't know what that is, it's uh, basically a plugin that applies motion blur to any moving objects within your scene. Um, so it's useful for 3D stuff, it's useful for frag movies, it's really useful for anything you find it useful for. So if you keep watching, I will uh, take you through the steps of how to do this. Um, but before I go through the tutorial, I want to say thank you uh, to all the subscribers who subscribe to my channel and of course to my main channel. Um, it's really been interesting seeing where this channel has gone from when, it, uh, when I first started it and started making some few tutorials with a crap mic and a bad screen recorder. Um, so it's been really interesting, so I thank you guys for your support through that. And uh, well, we're here now, so um, let's continue uh, with the tutorial. So this is something I've created for the tutorial. Uh, it uh, shows a bit of the smoothness and the fluidness of the plugin. So here it is. All right, so as you can see, uh, it's a bit smooth. Uh, there's motion blur and the turns and all that. Um, so if we hop into After Effects, uh, I'm using After Effects CS5, it works for all the versions uh, as well. Um, the plugin you can get from revisionfx.com uh, products and then Real Smart Motion Blur. Uh, by automatically tracking every pixel, Real Smart Motion Blur applies more natural looking motion blur with no effort. Um, this is what they're boasting about on their page, which, well, it works. Let's put it that way. All right, so uh, back to the tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what it does here. Uh, if you look at, uh, for example, let's take this guy in our left here. Uh, basically, we have the whole team moving forward here, which means motion blur should be uh, basically coming at you and not going the opposite way. So as you can see, it's, it's applying motion blur to the to, to the person or the team and the ground and the elements around accordingly. And that, that's basically the whole point of the plugin. It's to, this, this basically creates smoothness in your video um, since it, it's, it blurs the edges and it makes everything seamless really. Um, the best way to get what I'm trying to say here is just to try it yourself. Um, especially if you're into soldier front editing, if that's what you do, then you should definitely try this plugin. Uh, it's, uh, it makes the game look a lot better. So um, I'm going to teach you how to apply it now. If you uh, import a clip here, I have my clip in my project palette and I'm going to drag it into the make new comp button. And this is my clip. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to effects, or effect rather, revision plugins and RSMB, which stands for Real Smart Motion Blur. Um, now, with this applied, I'm going to up the blur amount a bit. Now up it to probably 0.80. And that looks good. And that's really all I need to do to get this looking pretty good, as you can see. There's already some motion blur from the game, but it's not heavy enough. So I applied this and now I'm getting the result I can see. The blur amount is self-explanatory. That's the amount of blur. So if I take this up, it, it really doesn't look great, but you want to keep that value to a considerable value. Now the motion sensitivity, that's how sensitive the image is to motion blur. So the higher this is, the more sensitive it is. That means the more blur it's going to apply in different places, or motion blur rather. Um, and that's about it for the important settings. Um, and that's really how easy it is to apply this. So um, that's basically been it from the first tutorial of my new frag series, which you can use in your frag videos. There will be more, there will be coloring tutorials and uh, a lot of other stuff. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Uh, I hope well, I hope you're going to use it for something good. And um, if you do, I'd love to see your work. You can share it on our forums, artificialanimation.com slash forum. And on top of that, if you have any question whatsoever, you can go there and post it. And we will be more than glad uh, to help you out in the best way we can. So I'm Ronald Griffin for artificialanimation.com. And uh, I'll speak to you all next time.